Dear Ones I am Archangel Michael. Today's topic will be a continuation of yesterday's. But before we talk about that, I want to go back a little to what I said. Maybe I didn't know how to put it in a way that you would understand the situation. When I said that it was said in a video, that on the deadline of July 20th there would be catastrophes here on Earth, I meant the following, many of you watched that video and were left with just that information, that the deadline would be a date when something very bad would happen on the planet. That wasn't the direct message. Really the message he said was exactly what it was. That if humanity didn't improve, didn't take a stance, very bad things would happen. But, if you go through other channels, if you go through other channels, that is not what you will hear. You will only hear the bad side, that the deadline will be a date when everything bad will happen on the planet. So I made myself exactly at that point. I agree, I'm not going to take away the reason from those of you who criticized my words, because that really wasn't the truth. There was another side, which was the if, if humanity didn't improve. But for many, I repeat, this date has remained ingrained. No one, no one stopped to think about the if humanity improved. Everyone has decided that it is a deadline, which is a deadline for bad things to happen. I know exactly what was said in that video. No, I didn't criticize him, and I would never criticize him. Yes, that medium is a being of light. I would never be criticizing what he said. I just mentioned one of the things that was said in the video, which is what was passed on to humanity. Many did not hear the if, they listened to the other side, because that's what you always hear, you always hear the worst side of things. You never put it on the scale, you prefer to hear the worst, and feed that. And that is what is being fed into the heads of many. So it was with this intention that I spoke. Maybe I didn't express myself correctly, but it was my intention, it was just to call for comfort, because many continue to think that on July 20th everything will happen. You who know the truth, who have in your heart exactly what was said, know that it will not happen, because humanity has achieved it, with our help it is worth highlighting, remain neutral until that moment, without a big world war. But the vast majority don't think so. The vast majority are certain that the worst will happen on that date. So that's what I meant. And I end this subject here. Continuing yesterday's video, today we will talk about the second ray, which is the indigo ray. It is worth mentioning, when I said yesterday, that the violet ray is the most powerful, that he is the one above all others, yes, I say again that he is the most powerful, because he transmutes all types of negative energy into love and light, but all rays have power, all rays are powerful, each in their role. That's what I said in relation to the Ascended Masters and the hierarchies of angels, no one is better than anyone else. This concept of above or below, that one dominates the other, does not exist among us. There are different functions, there are different gifts, there are different powers, but it doesn't mean that one is more powerful than the other. So let's go. The violet ray has its power, the power of transmuting everything that is negative, into love and light, the power to eliminate from your mind, from your body, everything that is not good. So let's talk about the indigo ray. This radius is not much talked about. Few people talk about it, but he is as powerful as violet. This ray has as its master the master Melchizedek. Many have never even heard of it. But whoever reads, who knows about the masters, knows who he is. He is as powerful as Saint Germain. Yes, he is also an ascended master. I'm not going to mention the incarnations he had here. There were many too, but anyone who wants to observe his life, just do some research. I think it is much more valuable for me to continue talking about the power of this ray, rather than quoting his life. I commented about Saint Germain, because you knew one of his incarnations. So it's worth it, it was worth commenting. So let's go. Melchizedek is responsible for all the spiritual part of the techniques that reach this planet. It is he who determines what arrives and what does not arrive. It is he who determines when each technique reaches you, whether you are already worthy of receiving them or not. 
realize, because, a long time ago, until some time ago, you didn't know any of the techniques that you know today, with the exception of very few. Reiki began at the beginning of the last century, and has remained active until now, and increasingly so. But, let's put it this way, it has been expanded in a much greater way in recent times, in this century, from the moment you felt the need to balance yourself, to protect yourself, to work on your spiritual channel. In addition to Reiki, there are other techniques, many others that arrived over time. Many goddesses appeared, such as Quan Yin, with her magnified healing technique, an exceptionally strong healing technique. There is also Theta healing, which shows you how to treat yourself, how to try to improve, with a technique directly from the source, too. There is Family Constellation, which is a more recent technique that has been bringing good results in family conflicts. You will also hear about the bars, access consciousness, which are the access bars, they are points that came to work on your minds and to eliminate all the constraints, these beliefs that you have. I am here mentioning just a few. Those that are the best known at the moment. There are n others, all blessed. So why have so many things arrived recently? Because you were ready to absorb all these techniques. The people who started to learn about these techniques were handpicked, so that they could begin their ascension and be able to pass on these techniques. And that's how it has happened. All under the supervision of Melchizedek. He knows which technique has to be used and where it has to be. Who will be responsible for disseminating these techniques, and those who will receive them, because nothing is done by your will. When you have the desire to take a course, to improve yourself, to ascend, it is not your desire, it is a desire of your higher self, guided by superior beings, because the moment of your evolution has arrived. So everything comes to you the way it does. Then you think it's you who wants it. No. Nothing like that. You each have a moment. Each of you has a right time to begin your evolution, your journey. The way things come to you is as varied as possible, it's a friend who comments, it's something that comes to you via the internet, it's something you hear about, and so on. There are n ways for us to send you messages. So it's this way, this is how you begin to walk a spiritual path. To the path of evolution. Back to talking about the indigo ray. He is very powerful. Not only him, but also his master, Melchizedek. So when each of you wants to find the path. Which path do I seek for my ascension? What path do I seek to find what I should do? Ask Melchizedek to guide you, that shows them the most appropriate path, because the path you choose is not always the most appropriate at that moment. Realize, you are intuited to follow a path. Then, you often find yourself in front of many courses, many options. Then you tend to choose the one that could bring you some financial benefit. I'm not criticizing. Of course, you have to live, you have to eat, you have to pay the bills. Perfect. Of course, everyone thinks about the energy of money. But understand this, you often choose the path that, apparently, will bring you the greatest financial return, but is it the best path for you to start? When you open up to a technique, and open up to pass that technique on to others, do you know how to protect yourself? Do you know how to eliminate the energy you are going to exchange with the other person? Because that's what happens. Every spiritual technique that you apply to another, if you are not prepared, you are exchanging your energy with him, you are giving your energy to him, and receiving his, because he also gives his to you, and you end up reaching a balance. Then start to notice that you receive a person who is distressed, sad, full of problems, depressed. Then you will answer. You don't protect yourself and you start treating that person. The person leaves. Wow, I'm great. I feel much better, because you gave your energy to her, however, after she leaves, you are the one who harnesses it, it's you who starts to feel bad, she starts to feel sad, because you took away everything that was with her. You exchanged energy with her. Then what was in it came to you. So my brothers, 
it's not enough to just think about the financial side, you must first have techniques that protect you from this contact, that make them strong, so that you can have this contact with each other, because then you will donate energy, yes, but you will not take energy from the other. You will just donate, because you will be protected against everything, from feelings, from negative energy that comes from the other. So try to find out how to protect yourself first. My brothers, any donation of energy is perfect, because you are looking out for others, you are giving to the whole, and this is very blessed by the universe, but you have to take care of yourself. It's not just about donating. You have to know how to donate. You have to know that that energy that is coming out of you to heal others will not be missed, and neither will you receive what is bad in others, because you will be protected. So always keep that in mind. Before treating others, protect yourself, be protected. Then yes, you can do anything, and everything will be blessed. Another relevant point, to be said here, that many of you think that these techniques, because they come from the source, or come from above, they come for free, so they cannot be charged. Realize this, everything you do, you learn in some way. Each technique like this doesn't come for free, whoever applies a technique, he had to study, it didn't come to him for free. He was not an evolved soul who received the technique ready, and now he will start to apply it. And even if it was, the fact that he charges to teach doesn't diminish him in any way. So, stop with this judgment that whoever applies techniques always has to do it for free, free of charge. Understand the following, the energy of money has to circulate in the world. So you want to get everything for free. Then you start complaining that nothing is going on in your life. Because you want everything for free. You don't want to pay for the other's service, because the other provided him a service. So let's stop judging, let's stop criticizing, in relation to who charges. The person who does the technique spent money to learn that technique, and she is working. When she applies the technique to you, she is working. It's a way of working. Don't you like working and receiving your salaries at the end of the month? You all like it. Only that person is working, at the moment, not the whole month. But isn't it fair that she gets paid for her work? Isn't it fair that she gets paid for the time she had treating you? Yes. Many will say, but I often treat myself for free. No, you don't get treatment for free, because when you go to a doctor who gets treatment for free, someone paid that doctor. Do you know who it was? You, with the taxes you pay, with the things you buy. Nothing is free. Nothing in your world is free, because you created the world that way. This is how your world works, through the energy of money. So this energy has to circulate. If you receive, you have to pay, unless whoever is donating says, I'm doing this because I want to do it. She is donating. The person is donating their energy because they think it is good for the whole. It's her decision, not yours. So let's stop this judgment, of putting everyone in the same basket, that those who charge only think about money. No. Those who charge, think they also have bills to pay, who also has to eat, who also has to live. Imagine if each person who applies a technique didn't charge anyone, what will she live on? because she doesn't live on light. She has not yet ascended to live on the light. She needs to have the conditions to live. So my brothers, let's stop judging and criticizing. Let's stop with it. Of course, then you will say, ah, but we often pay and it's charlatanism. This is everywhere. This applies to any profession. How many times do you buy something and then see that it is nothing like what you bought? This is everywhere. This applies to any financial transaction you make. So don't blame the people who apply the techniques. Try to find out before doing it. Try to find out. Before giving your money, try to see what this person does. Then you make a decision. You are not obligated to do anything, but stop judging and criticizing, because the techniques came to help you and that is what they are doing. 
Many of you go through holistic therapies sessions and come out very well. Things your earth doctors never managed to do. You get healing, things you never achieved. But many also say, ah, I treat myself, I treat myself, I treat myself, and I don't cure myself. Another thing that is important to say, the technique only cures those who want to be cured, one who believes in what he is doing, one who believes he is receiving a blessing, that you are receiving energy that comes directly from the source. So this is cured. Now the one who goes. Ah, I will, but I know it won't do any good, really, it won't do any good. You will never be cured. So understand my brothers, it's a two-way street. The person applies the technique and you have to believe in what you are doing. If they don't believe, what are they doing? What are you spending that money you complain about paying for? For what? So don't do it, just to say it's fashionable and they're doing it. Ah, I'm doing that new technique. What's the point if you don't believe? Now, if you believe that that technique will really cure you, it will take away some of the symptoms you have, because the vast majority of the symptoms you have are not real, they are energetic, the result of the feelings you carry. So. Holistic therapies do exactly that, they treat each of you with these feelings, so that they stop acting in your physical body. It is my brothers, knowledge is vast and immense. So going back to talking a little more about indigo ray. This ray is very powerful, as much as all the others. If you really want to start a path of evolution, of ascension, treat yourself, treat others, great. My brothers, I have told you that everything is very easy. Reaching us is very easy, it's not that complicated thing that many people say. No, it's not, as long as it's done with heart. So if you want some light, you want some guidance, do it the same way I said yesterday, breathe, breathe deeply, breathe deeply, several times, until you feel relaxed. When you feel that you are well, that you are breathing even more calmly, See yourself surrounded by an indigo light. Within this light, call on Melchizedek, and ask, Guide me. Melchizedek, guide me which path I should follow for my spiritual evolution, so that I can help myself, and maybe even help others. And wait for the answer. The answer could come in many forms, stay tuned. But ask him to guide you, you will see exactly the path you have to follow. I am Archangel Michael. I am here, always, and now more than ever, trying to clarify many issues for you. Evolve my brothers. Believe me. You can.